Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be reviewing the first episode of what is technically considered as like the seventh and final season of the 2003 series of the Ninja Turtles, uh, which is like called the Back to the Sewers uh, season, because uh, last season in the Ninja Turtles O3 series, they went to the future called Fast Forward. And then now, like, in this episode, they go back to the present, or back to the sewers, from after being shoved into the, um, what, future? I will review all seven seasons of the Ninja Turtles. O3 edition. But I had to start with my favorite season first, which will also get its own playlist too, so if you guys want to get see like all my Back to the Sewers reviews, you guys can do that on top of whenever I review the Seasons 1 through 6, guys can see that as well, as well as the season in that playlist as well, eventually. Anyways, we're going to be reviewing, the, like I said, the first episode of season seven of the O three Turtles, so Back to the Sewer series or season, being called Tempest Fugit. And so there's uh this villain that's pretty much this like virus with a conscience. And she is called or it's called it kind of identifies as a female. So, there will be times where I call her she. Sorry. But she identifies, like, her name is called Fyro. Um, Fyro, like, was introduced in the Fast Forward series. The Turtles already beat her. Already. Some shit went down. The Turtles kicked her butt. Took her to school. Um... Blasted her, pretty much nearly killing her, essentially, but since she's made out of data, she, like, isn't truly dead. Um, so she comes back, and she wants revenge with the turtles for kicking her ass. And then she sees that the turtles finally built the time window that they've been building, essentially since they met Cody Jones, which is, like, the descendant of Casey and April, Casey Jones and April O'Neil. The Turtles, with the help of Kate, uh, Cody Jones, finally um, completes the time window. And so, Fyro gets a plan saying, since she's still not, uh, robot butler of Cody called Sterling. She would just take over him again and exact her revenge with the turtles, right? So, after Splinter and the turtles say goodbye to Cody and Sterling, they go into the time uh, window. Uh, Fyro hacks Sterling. He goes all crazy for a bit. Fyro goes into the time window. So Sterling, not by choice, goes into the time window. And then this episode, we see like Sterling, not Sterling, Fyro taking the turtles in like different arrows of time. With Donatello says, "Hey, if we can get Sterling's weapons, like Sterling's weapon system, the Fyro shut down to go back online, we get to do the deep compiling system on Fyro this time around, which worked so well the last time where she." He's like, I guess, slowed her down. Didn't completely destroy her. But we had, we had to fairly slow her down. So, let's try this again. But we need her to take us to a different timeline besides the medieval times. So, Michael Anslo opens his big mouth. Because first they went to the Jurassic period. Now they're at the uh, um, medieval times, right? And now, Michael Anslo, after like doing massive smack talk, they take... Going to like 
present time New York, kind of like a somewhat distant future of New York, where the Purple Dragons are fighting with a foot, and there's Ultron Shredder fighting Demon Shredder. There's like so many Shredders in this series. Like, it's no joke. Like, there's Demon Shredder, like Ultron Shredder. And in this series, you will we are going to get introduced to Cyborg Shredder, Cyber Shredder, and in the 2003 series, which is the first in the series I've watched in general, because I was around when the 1987 series came out, and I was a kid when the 03 trolls came out, but like when the Shredder dies. Like, he doesn't exactly stay dead. He somehow returns. It, it is... Like, to a certain point, like, that trope kind of got kids a little bit. That's, like, the only negative... Like, real negative thing I have to say when it comes to the old 3s first on the Shredder. I don't like that. Like, he's, like, menacing as hell. Anyway, so... Um, so, essentially... Cyber Shredder slashes Sterling. Then the Turtles uh, take some circuitry from uh, Ultron Shredder and repairs uh, Sterling, which activates his weapons, being able to do use a decompiler system of um, on uh, Viral. And what? Who is okay? Demon Shredder, we'll definitely get to another video because they do, I believe, in like season what four, maybe five. If I, I think it's five if I remember correctly. It's where they introduce the whole Demon Shredder aspect. So I'll save that for whenever we reach that road, where I explain later. So hit that subscribe button. <laughs> but um, Cyber Shredder, if you guys pretty much know what what Krang is from the eighty seven series, pretty much an uh, alien. In a like in a using an android body that looks humanoid, Utrams are pretty much are uses are the pretty much the same thing. They're little aliens, not as brainy looking as like Krang, but they're aliens that are in humanoid looking android bodies to better. Go around the public well freaking them out. Um, so that's what Utrom Shredder is. He's not a human, he's an alien trying to pass as human. I actually don't think there's a any actual human versions of Rokusaki in here. Actually, no, no, I take the back. Demon Shredder was once a human, turned to a demon again. Ooh. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already if you want to see like more reviews of the old three turtles because I'm going to do it anyways and that's going to get brought up eventually as I go through all the six seasons anyways getting back to the episode um so the turtle splinter kind of takes like beats uh fire uh fire roll. they go back in the time stream try and go back home then fire roll, does one last hack on Sterling, which Donald Tello's in Sterling, and Sterling has the uh, battle mode on. Um, he's not just a butler ro robot, he's also like a fighty, a kick ass robot, which is I dig. And so, like, he uh, essentially. Uh, the robot gets, uh, the kick butt robot gets hacked again. Garden Blast, Leo, uh, Don, uh, Leo, Raph, and Mikey, right? But Splinter sees this, gets in the way, and it was established in here that if they get shot with Fyro's Blast, then they'll get into, like, blown into, like, million bits. And that's exactly what happens. Sterling, because of um Fyro, gets shot. Um 
and he gets Spencer gets um, thrown into a million bits. So as soon as the turtles and like goes back to the center, like present, they like say they don't even celebrate going um, being the present because they, as far as they're aware, Splinter just got killed. This is like. As far as they are aware, there's no way to get Splinter back. He is dead. He is no more. Adios, Master Splinter. And that, like, and rewatching this episode, I am kind of happy that we went into that the whole like. Into a more like serious, like heart dropping moment, cause like season six of the All Three Turtles, which is like um, the fast forward season, they were more light hearted than the previous five seasons. Well, which is called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where like the first five seasons, they weren't afraid to go like into like some more like mature, dark themes for the series. Um, and then, like, season six, they, it was, like, the fast forward season, it was more lighthearted. So, I'm, like, kind of, I'm kind I'm happy that they went back into, like, okay, let's go more, so like, I guess the more mature-ish themes, more serious themes, per se, uh, of the series. You know, I don't think Back to the Sewers, uh goes as serious per se or dark as the um first five seasons of the O three series, but I, I still like that. Uh anyways. Um and then you think the episode's over, right? No 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 no. After like the turtles are like pretty much mourning the what they think is the loss of Splinter. And yes I did th- say think. Fire, we go into the day escape on the internet, inside the internet, the day escape. And see Fyro, she's wandering cyberspace, right? The internet, right? Fyro's in the internet. And she sees this big red fortress little thing. And we see, as she gets closer, it has the foot symbol. And she tries to harness the power to get back, to get refreshed with us, um, on the turtles. And it turns out, by no surprise, it's a trap. It's a virus in itself, so Fyro has a virus in her that transforms her into the Shredder, which is considered a Cyber Shredder, which we kind of saw earlier in the episode. That now we get to also see in the current episode, uh, current uh, this episode, and we got like twelve more episodes, like. This season, I think, is the shortest season because the other seasons are like 20 ish episodes. 20, 23 episodes. This is like only. This is 13, so this is the shortest season of the, the seven seasons on the all three trails. So, essentially. So, I like this episode. I like. Dog it what, took the turtles back from the future to the present. And I liked it, because, like, the fast-forward season, as much as I love the old three turtles, because the old three turtles, like, on top of, like, the 90s trilogy, the old three turtles really cemented me being a Ninja Turtles fan. Like, my sister might have introduced me to the Ninja Turtles by, like, the 90s trilogy, but the old three turtles, like... Whatever chance that I might not have been like as heavy handed as a Nitro fan as as I am today, the old three turtles within his seven seasons and the series finale they turn into a whole movie being Turtles Forever really cemented me as a Nitro fan for life. So um So um I really enjoyed this episode. Um it was really great going down memory lane. And uh, this entire season of Turtles Forever uh, is pretty much about 
the turtles tr find ways to save Splinter, which I think, if memory serves me right, how they do that, get Splinter back, I start the process is introducing that either the second or third episode. I forget. Maybe just the end of the second. So, um, I also do like how, like, towards the beginning of this season, like, episode, they have the Fast Forward theme song, right? Which, I wasn't too crazy about the, um, Fast Forward season, uh, theme either, but it was still a pretty catchy tune, to be honest. And then towards the end of the season, they had the Back to the Sewers theme, and man, I jammed the hell out of that. I will make sure, I will make sure to put, make sure that the Back to the Sewers uh, theme is like right before this review in the playlist, right? So if you guys want to jam out to the Back to the Sewers theme, you guys can. Uh, but man, it was, uh... And I do also think, I guess like the fast forward season was also kind of in the same style as the uh, other five seasons um, that came before it, right? So I thought it was a pretty interesting choice, too. Wherein the Back to the Sewers uh, season, they decided to change the uh, art style a little bit. And what I mean by that is that in, like, the... Um, I, um, in the first, like, what six seasons of the turtles they didn't have pupils right now they have pupils like sure they have pupils when they didn't wear their masks before but like now even with their masks they have don't have they, they do have pupils and so i thought that was a really um interesting choice and you can tell that like the an like they definitely changed the animation to more than just like the eyes for the turtles like you can still tell that these are taking the voice actors away for a second. You can still tell that they are the are associated to the two thousand three turtles, but you can tell there's that change in animation just a little bit, not too drastic, just enough where you're like it's new while it's still being the same. And I thought that was a interesting choice. Well, Shredder's definitely different because different. Shredder than the other two that we got in the series. Um, so I thought that was always interesting choice. I don't hate it. Just thought that was an interesting choice. But um, back to the sewers. See episode one Tempest fight. Uh, sorry, Tempest fidget. It was a. Uh, I enjoyed it. I um. If you guys are a Nitro fan. I have only watched the 1987 series, so I want to get into, like, get into, like, an intro show. I do recommend watching the old three series, like, obviously from the beginning with season one. Say, so starting at the Back to the Service, um, season that where I'm starting at for my reviews, so you guys can have more context by the time we reach to this episode. <laughs> but I enjoy, like I said, this whole series, like the whole three series, all seven seasons, and the Trust Forever movie, is literally a good, like a huge part of my childhood, and really cemented me being a Nitro fan. And with it, um, with this year being the 40th anniversary for the Ninja Turtles. I could not think of a better way to, like, re for me personally, to really celebrate the Turtles than to start, like, to, to let them to review the series that really cemented my love for the Turtles. So it happens to be the series I grew up with in the old three Turtles. Anyways. Wow. Have you seen the Back to the Series, um, um, Episode 1, Tempest Fight? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. 
I will talk to you fellow mutants later.